My name is John Herring, I'm a producer, performer, composer and project manager and I'm working with the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic and the Tate Gallery on the PRS New Music Plus scheme. Um, I work with a musical collective called APAT. It's a collective in that there's, it's non-hierarchical approach so we try to use a, as varied an approach as possible and use as many kind of genres and styles and platforms as we can so we might work as a pop group sometimes and release a pop single with a pop video at other times we might play heavy metal music and play to a, a rock audience. We sometimes work with more classical music. We've made a feature length film. We've run club nights and we also have our own social networking site which kind of specialises in alternative music and multi-genre music. And we've also, from that, released records and are releasing records by other artists as well. In December last year we put together a performance of Terry Riley's In Sea, which is kind of a seminal minimalist piece. And I got together a, a group of around 30, 35 players for that from various areas of Liverpool's music scene. Um, we spread the musicians throughout the, the gallery wing of the Blue Coat, and so there'd be groupings in different rooms and the audience were free to move between the different groupings as the piece was played. Depending on the route that the audience took through the performers, the mix would be different for every every single person and if we performed it again it would be different again. In working with the Phil I'm particularly going to be working alongside Ensemble 1010 which is the Phil's contemporary music group. Things that the, the full orchestra might not might not approach Ensemble 1010 is able to is able to look at those so I'm really excited to work with them as well and kind of look at different ways things could be staged or different approaches we could use for that. Because I'm working with the um, the Phil and the Tate together, we're going to be looking at ways we can combine the forces. It's amazing, I mean, t if I'd been paired with either one of the organisations, it would have been um, kind of mind-blowing enough, but the, the fact that both of these have come together, it's, um, it's kind of hard to comprehend the, the scope and the possibilities of using working with two organisations like this.